Okay, so sorry, just some quick final comments here. I promised I would discuss why we have this labeled optional experimental. Okay, optional meaning that it's completely optional. All right, uh, I think we had covered that pretty clearly already. This is not required. In fact, it's not even on by default. Now, experimental. This is labeled experimental because it states here that we're still testing this against many pl widget, plug-in, and theme combinations. Um, the, the truth is, is that this is actually labeled experimental, and I probably should, we should probably update this in a future release to make this more clear. The reason is we don't want you to trust in this too much because, like I stated before, these query filters are attaching themselves to plugins and themes that make standardized WordPress queries using standardized functions such as query posts or the WP query PHP class. It's filtering against those, but if you have a theme or a plugin that is doing custom queries directly to the database, then obviously there's no methodical way for S2 member to interject its own filters in those types of queries. Okay, so that's why we have it labeled experimental. And I'm going to make a notation here that we probably should add those specific details in here so that that's made aware to developers as well. Okay, but just I just wanted to, to make that final comment here in the video. This is why. So if you see unexpected behavior after having configured this, you might want to take a look and make sure that all of your themes and your plugins are using the standardized uh, functions being provided by the WordPress core framework. Uh, before they start making queries against your database. So this way, S2 member has the ability to use its filters against those queries. Okay? So thank you very much.